When the NASA Mars rover lands there on Thursday, it will deploy the first helicopter ever to fly on another planet. Now, the person who led the project at Pasadena's Jet Propulsion Lab, or JPL, is a woman who came to the U.S. at the age of 16 to further her education. NBC4's Kim Baldonado joins us live now from JPL with more on the story. Kim. Yeah, Colleen, she's quite an impressive woman and so enthusiastic about tomorrow as all of us are. Now, take a look behind me. This is a life-size model of the Ingenuity Mars helicopter, which is scheduled to take up to five test flights in the Martian atmosphere. It's called Ingenuity, and that, along with years of hard work from the top scientific minds, is what it took to get this four-pound, multi-million dollar helicopter off the ground and onto the belly of the Mars rover Perseverance. That's what, you know, we love to do at JPL. You know, really, dare my things, it's first of a kind. As Ingenuity's project manager, Mimi Ong oversaw the design and build of the world's first ever rotorcraft to fly on another planet. Leading a project that is almost as uncertain as, as uncertain as you could imagine. <laughs> but um, nevertheless, I was attracted to it. Scientists at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena started researching the possibility in the 1990s, but the technology to make it a reality was not available until recently. The major milestone that's coming up is now actually doing the flight experiment at Mars, and that's where um, my motivation uh, comes from the Wright brothers. It will indeed be a Wright brothers moment, but instead of the first controlled powered flight on Earth, Ingenuity will prove it's possible to fly at Mars. That is its only goal on this mission, but first it needs to survive Thursday's landing and Mars extremely cold nights, which can reach minus 130 degrees. Every step between now and the first flight is first time event. First time events, which will be watched closely worldwide and by Ong and her team at JPL. Please hold the breath together with us, bite your nails together with us, and it'll be uh, unnerving but very exciting. An exciting and historic event that will open up a new way to explore Mars in future robotic and human missions to Mars. And taking another live look right now at that impressive four pound little helicopter. Despite its small size, the helicopter carries a solar panel, a wireless communication system, computers, navigation sensors, and two cameras. One which will take black and white photos, the other will take color photos. We will get those probably not until a month or longer after the rover lands because the helicopter won't actually be deployed until about a month or later after the rover lands. Very exciting stuff. Reporting live from JPL, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News. Yeah, I'm going to go with that's pretty cool, Kim. Thank you for that. Now, you can watch the landing live on NBCLA.com and our NBCLA app when it happens tomorrow. The time, 1255 in the afternoon.